today we are going to start with first chapter of geography which is resources and development so before we start anything the importance of this chapter is pretty <coughs> obvious because geography basically revolves around resources whosoever have gained resources right from the early times of human civilization has become more advanced more popular even if i talk uh, talk that uh, in with regard to country or a particular person resources have always played a very critical role in development of anything for example india has always had many different kind of resources right and uh, when when we talk about a person what are his resources his resources is money his resources knowledge which he use his resources skill which he uses in order to become more and more productive in his life right so resources always play a very important role in our life right so here i have written definition for resources let's see everything available in our environment which makes our life easier whatever thing that makes our life easier are known as resources right now i have applied three conditions on the definition of resources which is it should be technologically accessible means you should have certain machines or equipment so that you can obtain it from nature easily next point is economically feasible means whatever money you are investing in accessing those resources that should not be more than what you get by selling those resources right because that would be an obviously foolish task right if i'm investing for example if i'm investing 1000 bucks for accessing those resources but what i'm getting in return is 500 bucks then i won't call it a useful resource right next point is and culturally uh, culturally acceptable i would give you a very simple example like uh, imagine if a war has happened and obviously there would be many dead bodies now do we use any of those dead bodies as fuels right because that would be very weird we don't use it as a fuel we we give it that uh, person a very proper ritual and we use something else as our resource for example i would rather use a log of wood right separated from the tree as my fuel so now it is pretty clear what is the meaning of culturally acceptable here i have written few examples of resources which you all have seen in your surroundings such as trees buildings mountains oceans and all other things human life has always evolved around these three three different parameters the first parameter is nature whatever resource we are getting that is given to us by nature right now <clears throat> when we have accessed our resources we must be having some kind of technology to use that resource up to full potential and to transfer that knowledge we made certain institutes because if we don't make any institute the next generation won't be having any idea like how we have developed or whatever progress we have made in the recent past that cannot be progressed any further and human civilization would get stuck on the current scenario for example in the current scenario i can give you this that uh, you are getting what silicon from nature right and using some technology you made what a mobile phone you made a mobile phone and when you got to know how to make a mobile phone then what you did was you made several institutes for example i would say a factory you established a factory that is not making few hundreds but thousands of mobile in a single day in a single day and thus you progressed on to making not just a simple phone but a smartphone which would later obviously would evolve in a supercomputer right?